Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Cheyenne. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's what Sydney calls me, my best friend. But um, my name is Cheyenne. It's a lifestyle mom. <laughs> with another video you know like my kid <laughs> and there's a stupid freaking fly that's in this room and I swear my pet peeve is flies flying around me and it's freaking flying around the whole room and it's driving me insane but today's a video it's been a while so we are gonna color my hair it looks like that, but let's see if I can get the results. Like, see how dark it's going to be? Because that's like kind of, you see my hair? It's kind of dark like that. So it's going to be really dark red. It's kind of like what I want. The last time I dyed my hair was a little bit darker. Like, I wanted a more red tint, so I don't know. We'll tr we're going to try this and see. It's freaking charcoal. It says charcoal fuchsia, so that means black red, right? The other one is black cherry. That means black red, too. So, we'll see. But, yeah. And then, I also, during the process of me dyeing my hair, I'm also going to be moving all of my stuff that's in the back, right here. And I'm going to be moving it into another room because this room doesn't have any carpet in it. It's like a dog room. Well, not a dog room, but it's for animals. And I don't have any animals. Well, I do, but my animal doesn't live here with me. So, we're going to move into another room so that I'm more comfortable. Because I'll explain all the rest of the situation after I dye my hair. Or while I'm dyeing my hair. I don't freaking know. But anyway, let's dye my hair. I'll probably honestly just dye it and then come back when I have the dye in my hair I'm terrified but you know we can all die, always dye it black that's what I think pretty sure that's what I said in the last video so if you haven't already make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel we're at like 137 subscribers ah! like my goal is seriously coming true I've been waiting for this moment to finally be getting paid hopefully I mean I have to get like nine, eight hundred more. Like, I don't know. I have to get like so many more subscribers, but I feel like after a certain point, and if I'm consistent with my shit, which I will be, then my videos will pop off. So, I mean, look at my room. My room's a freaking mess, but it's just disorganized because I literally have been going through some shit, all my shits and boxes. Let's draw my freaking hair. And then we're going to do a TikTok or something. I will just show you my TikTok. And maybe you should just go subscribe to that too. And go watch those. Uh. Alright. And peace out. I'll see you in this two, like, two seconds. I kind of like it. I like the color. Hopefully it kind of looks like that. But we'll see. Now we're going to go move all of our stuff into the other room. That should be fun. I'm scared to look. I haven't even looked at my hair yet. At all. It's like almost 1 o'clock in the morning. And I still have nothing switched over. I have a box out in the hallway with my clothes in it. Hopefully nobody steals it. This is the final result. This is like a couple days after. And I did wash it out really good. Like when I first like washed it like really really good so hopefully i got most of the color you know that's supposed to come out out and um so i just i should get on here i guess with my new hair make this video into something by giving you guys a little update on my housing situation so last week i had an interview 
with so I've been here for like you know seven months and then after a while like they have programs and stuff for you to get into well one of the programs was it's called transitional housing where they help you pay your rent for two years and and they do they give you like counseling they pay your utilities they furnish your home all that good stuff you know like just something to help you transition into your own place so I applied for it because you essentially you have to apply for it and then you get interviewed so I was up against five people I think they said I was up against five people who were interviewed and I had been in the shelter the longest the longest the shelter is like a it's a prioritized you know like the people in there are so when I went into this interview I kind of like had my doubts just because I was like, you know, nothing's going my way. And literally, you guys, nothing is going my way. Like, my life is, like, falling apart. It's crumbling. But I'm just still there, like, you know, I, I'm, like, denying the fact that it's crumbling. I don't know. And I'm and I'm, I'm thankful that I'm denying that because I, it's not making me give up yet. Like, I'm literally on the verge, but I haven't given up yet. So... When I found out that, like, the other, like, the other person that interviewed that's in the shelter got it, obviously, like, it upset me a lot, you know, because I was there longer and I just worked my butt off, I feel like, to get into something like that. So I was really upset. So the next day, I ended up getting a phone call from the same people and they told me that I also got approved and that... I w but I would have to wait. So, I'm approved for this program. But, I have to wait until January to move in. So, that's what I was told with that. And then, I found out that I'm, th I'm thinking that they might have to do another round of interviews. So, I'm freaking out here because I'm like, well, if... If I'm approved, if they already did that, like, I just don't know. What if I don't get, what if they don't approve me again? Like, what if they don't pick me and pick somebody else? I'm just going to be highly, highly upset. Like, so, I don't know. But, I like, she's, like, very, like, she's guaranteeing that it's mine. So, like, I don't know what to think at this point. Because everything goes wrong here. So I have a choice between like the other apartment or this one. And the other apartment is like supposedly ready to move, be moved in now. But I don't trust it. And I told them no I'm not taking the apartment. So I have to go give the keys back. And then um. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's been a, a rough one. I, I would say. But. I'm hoping by January that I get that they'll have this place. It's a two bedroom. And I am really praying that it's mine. So I got approved to stay into the place, into the shelter until January. So when January comes, I would have been there for 10 months when I, if I move out in January. I will be there for 10 months at that point and oh, Jesus just the thought of that literally drives me crazy because I don't have anything I'm trying to like work I'm trying to figure out better opportunities for my job you know like this isn't the best one I'm trying to get better pay better money better trying to work my life out trying to get my YouTube started I'm trying to focus on my goals too so I'm doing it I'm doing it though. I'm kicking ass and I'm not gonna let anybody stop me. Obviously, I'm not gonna let stop myself. I'm gonna keep going because I know, I just know that there's like other things like out there. Like there are opportunities for me. I just need to get to that point. So hopefully, hopefully uh, by the end of this year, things will be looking up and my YouTube hopefully will be like double what it is now yeah 
I'm like really hopeful for my t YouTube. My YouTube has grown so much in just this last year. It's just insane. So I want to thank you guys for watching all my videos, everybody, and subscribing to my channel, liking my videos, commenting. Oh, I just like I love making videos and I love people watch. I love that people watch me. Like I I don't know. Like I don't know. I have a boring life. But it's just a different experience from anybody else. And, like, I grew up, like, in a great home. Like, I grew up fine. You know, I didn't have any issues. Obviously, like, my dad wasn't there. But but I grew up fine. Like, my mom, you know, raised us good. We had a roof overhead. We had food. We had everything we needed. But, like, just to see the circumstances, like, me, like, turning into drugs, like, going and getting high for the first time like why would I ever do that and then becoming a drug addict like getting sober having my family now I'm now I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do to better my life and so it's crazy to like I don't know like I'm glad I started my YouTube channel now too because let's say in a few years like if this does kick off I can't even imagine I can't imagine what my life is gonna be like in two years I mean, I can. I hope that I live in a really nice house, <laughs> but I hope I can buy one by two years. I could. I hope I can save money. I hope in 10 years from now that I am making money on YouTube full time and I have a really nice house. I have like two cars. My kids are going to be, well, Cash going to have his own car. I hope to buy him a car for his own birthday, a really nice one. I have have beautiful children like... Hopefully I'll have a husband by then too. Shit. <laughs> Just kidding. I will never have one probably. But all right, guys. Anyway. And that's not because I'm like, oh. But like just because people are, t I, I don't know. I don't even know what people are because that, yeah, like. So I got to go inside. I'm already like a half hour, like should be working already. So. I will talk to you guys next week. I'll see you. I'll be posting another Vlogtober video because it's October. You got to make a vlog in October. And then in November, it'll kind of be getting into the holidays. And then Christmas, we're doing Vlogmas. We're going to pull this shit off as much as we can. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment to my videos. Please, subscribe, 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 and I will see you guys next week. Bye.